In this video, I will show you my process, how I went straight from wood from a tree, the spoon. I think these spoons have a really nice finish. Uh, for these spoons, I used food oils to varnish them. For this one, I used hazel oil. For this spoon, I used virgin olive oil. I definitely do prefer the varnish of the hazel oil as it's quite a lot darker and brings out the grain of the wood. So this is a side view of what the wood looks like. So here's the trunk of wood and it's assembled in layers. These two middle parts are the parts that I'll be using to make the spoon and they're... They don't have to be perfectly flat. So here is my template. I've cut this out of paper and I'll leave the link to the file in the description box below. First of all, I'm just going to place this on the wood that I've cut and then I'm going to draw around the outside. I'm going to use an electric jigsaw to go around the edge and outline the cut. The next thing I've done is used a saw and just gone along the edge to make the handle a lot thinner. This will make it more easier to grip with the hand. The next step is I'm going to continue to gouge out the bowl of the spoon. For gouging out the spoon I'm going to use this curved gouge and the mallet. All I'm going to do is and repeat this till I've got the shape that I want. For the next step, I will be sanding the spoon. When using a power sander, I'd recommend wearing a face mask just to protect yourself from all the sawdust produced, and then I'm just gonna sand it. So in this step I'm going to oil the spoon. First of all I'm just using some extra virgin olive oil, it can be any type. I'm using kitchen towel here and then Once you've finished putting on the oil, the next step is to take as much off as you can with another piece of tissue. This is what the finished spoon looks like. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, Creative Flurry.